Jayhawk Bowling Supply is proud to introduce the Jayhawk Ball Surface Scanner. In this video, we will be using the scanner to conduct a three-game surface analysis showing the dramatic changes that take place in typical use. Testing was done on Brunswick Pro Anvilane and the cover stock was cleaned with Ultimate Rejuvenator before each scan. Testing will be done with a DV8 2 Reckless at 2500 grit and a Brunswick Wicked Siege at 4700 grit. To achieve this surface on the 2 Reckless, we used 500 grit Sierra pads, then 2000 grit pads on a Cook Sphere resurfacing machine. The Wicked Siege was resurfaced using 1000 grit Sierra pads, then 4000 grit pads. Here is a shot with the 2 Reckless at the conclusion of Game 1. We will now use the comparison scan feature of the surface scanner to show the difference between the resurface finish and the finish after one game. The comparison scan feature allows users to display two scans on the same screen. The yellow line represents the resurface finished and the green line represents the surface after one game of use. In one game, the average surface of the two reckless changed from 2500 grit to 3900 grit. The track of the ball changed the most from just contact with the lane surface, but the whole ball smoothed out some from hitting the pins, rolling around in the pit, and traveling back through the ball return. Here is a shot with the Wicked Siege at the conclusion of game one. The Wicked Siege didn't change as much because it started out at a much smoother surface. After one game, the surface changed to nearly 5,000 grit, and most of the change was in the track area. The track area adjusted up to 5,400 grit in some spots. We then bowled a second game with the two reckless. After game two, the overall surface of the two reckless smoothed an additional 400 grit to 4300 grit. The track, the most important part of the surface, had smoothed to an average roughness of around 4900 grit. This is already a significant change from the original resurface finish of 2500 grit. Here is a shot with the Wicked Siege at the conclusion of game two. The overall surface of this ball has smoothed about 300 grit by the conclusion of game two, as it is now just over 5,000 grit. The track, however, is where the most of the surface change has occurred. The track area of this ball has already smoothed 1,000 grit in just two games to around 5,200 grit. We then bowled the third and final game for the test. There is only a little change in the finish between the second and third games. The overall surface of the two reckless has now changed to 4400 grit. In only three games, the average surface of the ball changed by almost 2000 grit, and the track area of the ball changed by 2500 grit. Here is the third game shot with the Wicked Siege. The Wicked Siege surface did not change very much from the end of game two to the end of game three. For the three game test, the track area of the ball changed by over 1000 grit in some areas. In conclusion, the two reckless with an original grit of 2500 smoothed 1900 grit in only a three game period. The track noticeably changed more than the rest of the ball. This type of finish will need to be maintained before every set to maintain the original finish. The Wicked Siege started with an original finish of 4700 grit and in a three game span smoothed to over 5000 grit. The track area smoothed the most, with some spots changing by over 1,000 grit. Balls finished similar to this Wicked Siege will need to be maintained every 9 to 12 games to keep the desired performance. With cover stock roughness being the most critical factor in bowling ball motion, it is crucial to have your bowling ball surface adjusted on a regular basis. The only way to truly know the surface roughness of your bowling ball is with the Jayhawk Ball Surface Scanner. Visit your local pro shop to have your equipment scanned and resurfaced to maximize your scoring potential. For more information on the Jayhawk Ball Surface Scanner, visit shop.jayhawkbowling.com for more information. Check back for more detailed videos on how to use the Jayhawk Ball Surface Scanner in day-to-day -day operation.